Hello, my friends, and thank you for joining me for spread number 69. Nice. <laughs> now that the obligatory funny number joke is out of the way, this is the last of the seven card spreads. This is called the sabbatical spread or the long time away spread. We will be using the supernatural tarot for the demonstration, and we're going to get right into it. Being referred to as a sabbatical spread, this is when you are planning on taking two weeks or more away from your standard daily life, going on some sort of large vacation or some large disruption to your standard plans. So card number one asks the question, is this even the right time for it? Is this the right time to take this sabbatical, this long vacation? Card number two. Am I financially prepared for this trip? Card number three, can I take this trip without damaging my career? Card number four, should I make a firm itinerary or seek opportunities as I'm traveling? Card number five, should I be keeping in touch with people as I travel or possibly bring someone with me? Card number six, should I prioritize seeing new places or just taking the time for myself? In card number seven, does this mark a major change in my life or just a chance to step away for a few weeks? So with that explanation out of the way, we're going to shuffle up and see what the cards have to say. As always, this is a demonstration. It's how I would interpret these cards if I were to pull them while doing this reading for a client. Does not mean that you as the viewer cannot also derive benefit from it, just that this is not a reading for any particular person in the audience. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. So just some quick observations before we get into the individual cards. We have three cards of the Major Arcana here. Star, High Priestess, and then the Lovers Reversed. We have three cards from the Suit of Bones, which are notably all reversed. The Two, the Page, and the Knight. And then we have the nine of cups upright. So a lot of these cards are are focused on the intellectual matters because in this deck bones corresponds to wands. So with some of our general observations out of the way, let's get into the reading. So card number one is the two of bones reversed, corresponding to the question, is this even the right time to take a trip? The two of bones reversed implies that it is a choice. You could weigh the pros and cons, but ultimately you're going to need to decide by your gut because intellectually you can convince yourself either direction. Think as to what will make you happiest and let that data point outweigh the others. Card number two, do I have the finances to just drop everything and go on this trip? We have the page of bones reversed. In this deck, it's represented by the character Claire Novak. She is a novice hunter good at what she does, but inexperienced. This being the card in conjunction with finances, are you financially prepared for this? Looks like you need to double check your budget, need to evaluate exactly what you want to prioritize on this trip. Card number three, can I take this trip without damaging my career? We have the star, which is represented by the character of Jack. By the end of the series, Jack is probably the most powerful being in existence. His story is one of choosing his own path and being aware that you have more power over your future than your upbringing or your the expectations of others have been placed upon you. You have control over your own future. You can do this in a way that does not damage your career. 
Card number four is the Lovers, represented by Sam and Jessica. It is reversed. As is typical of the Lovers, it represents choices and relationships. In this reading, it corresponds to the question, do I want to make a definite itinerary or play things by ear? Being reversed seems like there are going to be consequences to your relationships if you play it by ear, especially if you have someone traveling with you. I would recommend at least mostly fixed plans. Card number five answers the question, how will I keep in touch with people or should I have someone come with me? It is the Nine of Cups upright. I was about to say reversed, but it's not. It's upright. The Nine of Cups represents emotional fulfilledness. It is things going, things going in such a way that you and those around you are happy. This leads me to believe that you won't have any problems communicating with people as you're away. And if you do choose to bring someone with you, that you'll both enjoy the trip. Card number six. Should I view this trip as an opportunity to visit new places? Or is it more of an opportunity to just get away for a bit? To de-stress? Being represented by the High Priestess, which in this deck is the character of Rowena. The High Priestess is about feminine intuition, trusting your instincts. In this case, both options are good. It might even be possible to accomplish them both at the same time. Prioritize your emotional and spiritual health on this trip. Don't try to overload each day with things to do. Don't distract yourself from what you're feeling. Card number seven. Does this trip represent a major shift in my life? Or is it just taking a break? In this deck, the Knight of Bones is represented by Eileen Haley. Haley? Was that the right last name? Leahy, with an L, not an H. It is reversed. Taking that into consideration, I don't think that this is a major life-altering moment, unless you choose to make it such. Because our perception matters a lot in how we view our life and the events inside of it. This is a moment to look at what is around you and decide once you've got a little space, what needs to change and what should stay the same. That brings us to the end of this demonstration of our 69th tarot spread. In the description, you'll find links to my website, to, dis to my Discord server, and to my Buy Me A Coffee page. Check them out if you're interested. And as always, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.